So here are some language instructions to use in your PhD thesis or PhD dissertation or even when you are writing research papers. These sentences will help you automatically to frame it without further thinking of the sentence construction. So here are uh, you can you can have a look uh, these sentences clearly when you want to describe something like you can describe uh, in the way this way there are many ways of describing like for example many researchers have utilized x to measure and etc one of the most well-known tools for assessing and whichever the subject you are these sentences can can be very common that you can use anywhere in your writing respective of the subject that you are researching upon traditionally x has been assessed by measuring a number of techniques have been developed to different methods have been proposed to classify x is the main non-invasive method used to determine different authors have me measured x in a variety of ways, several methods currently exist for the measurement of X. Previous method studies have based their criteria for selection on. So you can just pause it and look into this. Describing sentences. Uh, I can read here and there like there are main three main types of study design used to identify. In most recent studies, X has been measured in four different ways. The use of qualitative case studies is a well-established approach in. Since the 1950s, researchers have used a multitude of scientific measurements methods too. The test is widely available and has been used in many investigational studies. And uh, one can also use these uh, short sentences like um, have traditionally employed, based their approaches on, used model systems to predict. And uh, these words are very much common in your PhD thesis or research papers or any form of writing. Assess, test for, identify, capture, quantify, measure, determine, investigate. Uh, so these words are very, very good to uh, uh, incorporate or write in your thesis or research paper or review paper, any sort of the research that you want like to do this, these are all descriptive words now second we look at uh, reasons when you want to give a reason why a particular method was adopted or is adopted you can use these uh, vocabulary or sentence construction or set of words a major advantage of x is the benefit of this approach is a case study approach was used to allow this method is particularly useful in studying a quantitative approach was employed since you can look at all this uh, you can pause it another advantage of using computer simulations is instead of computer simulations you can keep whatever you like depending upon your subject and topic. The collaborative nature of the focus group offers another advantage. The advantage of this particular method is that it allows us to make dash. So you can have some short sentences here to ensure that, to help understand how to allow a deeper insight into 
to conduct the exploratory study, to evaluate the effectiveness of, to gain a detailed understanding of, to determine the factors that affect, to assess the management practices of, to obtain further in-depth information on. So you can look it here to obtain further in-depth information to capture the complexities of the phenomenon, to provide rounded detailed instructions. So all these are like to give reasons for the study that you may. You can use these words longitudinal data, retrospective data, regression analysis, self-report data, a convenience sample, a st case study sample, a comparative approach, a mixed method approach, that's what qualitative and quantitative, um, a multi-dimensional approach. So these are the things like dating, gathering, collecting, evaluating, estimating, measuring, identifying, determining. So now you can use these sentences in common when you want to refer to the uh, literature review. In a recent article, such and such person argues that, and Jones argues that the solution was then. Now here are some, some more sentences giving reasons. And if you want to describe the characteristics of the sample, so you can use these articles for search from January 1965 to April 2014, or a random sample of patients. The sample was representative with respect eligible women who matched the selection criteria were identified by. So all these sentences can be used to tell the numbering, numbers, research. Publications were only included in the analysis if the participants in this study were recruited from. So you are just uh, giving the qualifications or why you have selected uh, such uh, sentences. You can use this eligibility criteria required individuals to have received from. If you want to describe the process, typical verbs in the passive form, you can use this. Of course, passive form is uh, less used, but at some point of time, you supposed to use this. The data were normalized using ethical approval was obtained from. Drugs were administered by. Descriptive data were gathered for all variables. The procedures of this study were approved by. Prompts were used as an aid to question. Data were collected using. You can also use data was collected. Or participants were tanked. The experiments were run using custom software written in. A total of 256 samples were taken from 52 boreholes. So all these sentences, you can just uh, uh, do it to rate, to recall, to attend, to indicate, to say whether, to comment on, to complete two tasks, a variety of questions about. So you can also bring sequence while describing, like to begin this process or the first step in this process was, and the second method used to identify is prior to commencing the study or prior to ethical clearance was sought from, prior to analyzing the interview data, prior to the transcripts were checked for, prior to undertaking the investigation or prior to ethical clearance. Or you can use after training, after the participants were told that, after collection or after the sample. So how you are using the prepositions here in your writing, on arrival, on the process of parameter, once the samples were extracted, it was first necessary. So, um, once the positions had been decided upon, after like following correction for. 
now you can use this then the participants were then shown as well. the soil was then weighed again these ratings were then made for the 10 stimuli the preparation was then placed in a custom built microfluids so this uh, describing process is very important in your writing because the whole thesis about uh, researching is uh, describing something you can see here some adverbs here the, the resulting solutions was gently mixed so gently is an adverbs of manner a simple of the concentrate was then carefully gradually manually aseptically accurately now infinitive of purpose in order to investigate the effects of in order to identify in order to help of course this is very popular uh, people know it in order to you can use these uh, phrases academic academic phrases to avoid to test whether to establish whether to better understand how to address the possibility of to measure uh, x a question asking was used to determine whether to rule out the possibility to control for bias So describing the process when you want to express purpose with for for the next two questions a Likert scale was used for the purpose of analysis two segments were extracted for the purpose of height measurement participants were asked to describing questionnaire the first question elicited information on all survey questions utilize a five point scale find out and all to list, to rank, to provide, to describe, to reflect. So what uh, great academic phrases which you don't need to use. We use only one or two always. And it becomes a repetition in our writing. Or in, when we write thesis of research paper, uh, we often see same words repeated because they are the only words a researcher knows. So if you can bring uh, this uh, combination here, themselves the intensity of their interest in the importance so hope these academic phrases these phrases will help you a lot so you can just uh, i'm i'm just scrolling it down slowly uh, if you want it you can pause it and look into this These are good if you can use it. At least if not all, some of the phrases are very useful to write, to put in your research paper, to bring that uh, uniqueness, the style of the language that a researcher can use it. Okay, that's it. Today's uh, academic uh, language this language box is very useful uh, if, if it's useful you can also share with your colleagues uh, thank you so much for watching this video